This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Well, so Eddie Hearn has done an interview with DAZN and a very short clip that I'll put in the description box for you is where Eddie Hearn is talking about the potential sites for Fury and Joshua. He wasn't being quite specific about it as in what countries, what stadiums, but he was men mentioning the fact that say one country may have a stadium that's good enough and willing to put up the money, but it's at the end of July. And another place may be putting up the money at the beginning of July. And there's lots of different kind of offers and things to filter through, which Eddie Hearn, of course, is currently doing and will present to both sets of the teams with uh, Joshua and Fury. Now, within this interview, he did mention that Wembley Stadium, London, England, could in fact be back in play. Anthony Joshua is apparently 100% in. He wants Wembley Stadium. But, of course, that's if the government can guarantee 100,000 capacity. 100,000. Now, bearing in mind, when Joshua fought... Vladimir Klitschko, that was 90,000 capacity. So they want to add an extra 10,000 capacity. Now, my initial thought process of that was, well, if the government can guarantee 50,000, why not just double the price of the tickets? Whatever price that they were going to set it at, if it was 100,000, double the price of the tickets. Now, I know some boxing fans would go, oh, why are you saying that for? We don't have to be paying more. Well, at the end of the day, do you want it abroad or do you want it here in the UK where potentially you can go watch it? If it's all about money, then that's an option. And people will buy it, okay? But is it likely to happen in Wembley Stadium for 100,000 or even 50,000? Well, apparently it, um, Wembley Stadium will be hosting the uh, European Championships there. So quite clearly the government are looking to put in huge capacities at Wembley Stadium, are they not? So I think the government will probably be on board, but as to what capacity that they will be looking at, no idea whatsoever. No idea. Would people be comfortable being crammed into Wembley Stadium, 100,000 like sardines? I don't know. I really don't know. But there are, of course, other obstacles as well where, yes, they could get more money abroad and everything, but Tyson Fury said that he doesn't want to fight in the United Kingdom ever again. Which isn't music to the ears of British boxing fans for sure, but... A couple of things, I mean, if he did fight at Wembley, at least his dad will, will actually be able to go and watch him fight live because obviously his dad is on restrictions as to where he can go in the world. But there's that one. But at the same time, he was willing to fight Ajit Kabiel or Carlos Takam back in December in London. So I don't really know if he's serious when he says, I'm never fighting in the United Kingdom again. I have no idea. And ultimately, why would Tyson Fury want to deprive the British boxing fans the opportunity to have some kind of legacy here in the UK where two Brits are fighting each other for undisputed in the glamour division of the heavyweight. Where the winner will walk out that ring as undisputed heavyweight world champion. It gets no better than that, so why shouldn't it be on UK soil? In the UK, we've never had two champions of any nationality fighting each other where the winner would walk out undisputed on UK soil. We've never had it. So this is an opportunity where... We could get it. Apparently, Joshua's on board with it. Um, Fury, we don't really know. I mean, Fury could say no, but ultimately end up surprising us by saying yes. And the official announcement could be Wembley Stadium. But by the way, the place where I was told it wasn't Wembley Stadium, okay? But the thing is, it's definitely interesting. Definitely, definitely interesting. I personally would love it. And as I said, as much as I don't want to be encouraging promoters and managers to be boosting the prices of tickets ultimately they're going to be boosting the price of the pay-per-view anyway and if people really want it here in the uk then they have to pay for it that's how it's going to be because ultimately fury and joshua they could go abroad and get 100 million each so if they're going to fight here in the uk it's going to be a bit of a sacrifice but ultimately they're going to want to make as much money as they possibly can of course they are so anyway that's the news eddie hearn is saying that wembley stadium is back in play but of course, according to some online articles, that uh, the front runners are between Saudi Arabia and Qatar. But I don't know whether or not it's going to be either of those countries. I mean, there's so many different options. The place where I, where I was told wasn't any of those. So it is what it is. We'll have to wait, wait and find out. Hopefully this week we'll get an official announcement. And all going well, touch wood, it's going to be Wembley Stadium. But of course, I don't want to boost people's hopes 
And ultimately, it turns out that it's not going to be Wembley. People are going to be quite upset about it, aren't they? But anyway, that's the news. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.